What's up guys, Sio Fantasia here and this time around I'm going to show you the in and outs of code blocks. And uh, the reason I'm going to show you around code blocks is because in my future Allegro tutorials we're going to be using code blocks instead of Dev C++. So um, what we're looking at right now is the code blocks interface. Um, it's clean cut, it's neat, it's easy to use and it should be simple for anyone to use. So what we have here, we have uh, the management bar window, we have all our projects and all of them are organized in what's called a workspace and in code blocks you can have multiple workspaces, uh, excuse me, multiple projects in under one workspace and from so that way you can uh, easily compile whole files, whole projects or you can compile and build the whole workspace at one time and that can be pretty useful when uh, editing large bo blocks of code um, that depend on one another. Then we have the symbol a tab which tells you all the variables, functions, type defs, macros, any things that you may have defined all go under symbols and all of your resources and um, the code blocks uses a tabbed file system so you can easily click on the tab and it will bring up the, the file associated with that tab and for your convenience there is a open files list which um, comes in handy when you have many tabs open at one time and uh, you can't maneuver easily when there's a lot of tabs open so you just click on the open the list the file in the list and it'll automatically bring up that file um, so that's pretty much code blocks um, you have the uh, build window debug window tools settings plugins and uh, everything is laid out perfectly and you can edit these toolbars here if you should if you should uh, desire to do so so what we want to do now is we want to open uh, start a new project, uh, start a new Allegro project, excuse me, so first thing that you need to do before starting an Allegro, Allegro project is you need to have Allegro installed um, and that is what my previous video covers so since I installed Allegro I'm going to go ahead and start up an Allegro project and ultimately I'm going to open up the Allegro tutorial project that we were doing in our Allegro tutorials so what we want to do is we want to start you go to file new project and I always do empty project because um, I can go and add source files and header files as I please just from a blank slate instead of having it pre-done for me and I press go and it says welcome to the new project wizard this wizard will guide you to create a new empty project and then it'll go ahead and what it's going to do is it's going to set up a folder for you to um, store all of your f source files in that project folder. So if I wanted to name it, you know, Allegro Tutorial, which I already have Allegro Tutorial folder, it's going to go ahead and type in the file name for the uh, for the project file, and then it's going to show the resulting phone, um, file name, and it's going to be created in this folder. So since I've already done this. I'm going to go ahead and skip this step and then I'm going to open up the existing Allegro tutorial project that I imported from DevC++ and code block folders uh, projects are going to look like this files, project files click open and what's going to happen is it's going to load the source files all everything that's associated with that project and here in the workspace you see the Allegro tutorial project tab and all of your sources are here um, and I'm pretty sure you recognize this code because that's what we were working on previously so I've simply imported the code into um, code blocks so let's say that you had an empty project with no files in it and you wanted to start an Allegro project from scratch what you would have to do is you have to link the Allegro library with the project, just like in Dev C++. You go to Project, Build Options, 
Allegro Tutorial or whatever pro whatever your project name is that's the main project you go to linker settings and here in the link window it'll show you all the libraries that will be linked in with your project so I've already linked Ale the Allegro library in so what you would have to do is you'd have to type go to add type in the file name for the Allegro um, project the Allegro uh, excuse me library wherever it is in your system or you can just browse for it which if you're browsing for it it would be in your code blocks folder mingw lib and then live leg dot a then you click that and then keep as a relative path yes and then OK and then it'll add it to the window but of course since I already have it I'm gonna go ahead and delete that from the extra from my window and then you press OK and that's all you need to get started with Allegro and of course you need to make sure all your header files are in order and um, you have Allegro.h so you'll you can use the functions and things and now um, CodeBlocks is pretty handy it's a better compiler I mean a better IDE because it actually catches uh, your errors and it tells you sometimes even where they are um, so like if I if I had completely deleted the semicolon and I wanted to build the project of course it wouldn't let me do it so it would say error expected semicolon before if and sure enough there is an, a, a missing semicolon here and it'll tell you where it is sometimes so that's pretty good and then if I recompile it and it'll recompile it and then you can run it and hey look it's our old code from before the ball and then we press the escape and then what's going to happen is going to show you a console window it'll tell you the runtime execution the, the execution runtime and then it'll say how many seconds press any key to continue um, so it's a very it's a nice IDE with a lot of uh, bells and whistles if you will um, but yeah that this is the IDE that we're going to be using in our future Allegro tutorial so make sure you have code blocks installed and Allegro installed with it so that uh, you can be all set when we do our tutorials but uh, until the next time Sia Fantasia signing out see ya